Hi guys, your trainer Kurt Hartman here, owner and head trainer of Pro Fitness Training with this month's installment of the video series. Today we're going to be talking about box jumps and ways to improve those box jumps. First, I'll show you a box jump. Now you probably noticed a few things there that I did, or maybe you didn't, but I'm going to show it again. This time I'm going to explain it as I do it. Now for box jumps, typically you want to have your feet under your hips, maybe even just slightly a little bit wider. That's going to be the most power generation from your hips and most explosion. The second thing I'm going to do is I load my hamstrings. I go down and I throw my arms back, loading that motion. And as I jump and explode forward, I'm going to throw my hands up towards the ceiling. And that's going to give me my momentum going upward, helping me gain height. So down and back, exploding up. Now there's some things that everyone's experienced if you've done a lot of box jumps. One is the psychological effect. Especially when you're going on higher boxes. People tend to get a little mentally freaked out. They look at the box and they're wondering if they can jump that high. That hesitation is going to typically lead to some scraped shins, maybe a fall, things that you don't want to happen. So when you're doing this, it's really important to get your whole body in and get that explosive force. So again, watch my arms as I load down. I slow up and throw them up so I can get up onto that box. Second thing I'm going to do for safety, especially if you're jumping high, step down. You don't want to jump down. Landing like this from a high height can be dangerous on that uh, Achilles. So it's really important safety first for any exercise. Exercise is meant to get you better, not hurt you. So if you're really looking to gain height on these and gain explosion, there's a lot of things that can come into play here. The swing of the arms, where you're looking. It's very important, you don't want to look down, because when you're looking down, you're loading your weight down. It's going to make you heavier, and it's going to make you slam onto the box. When you're landing on your jump, you don't want to slam. You should be able to accept that force. So when you go up, it's nice and easy, quiet. If I'm looking down, you'll hear the difference here. A little bit more of a slam. You don't want that. You want to go nice and quiet, easy, soft landings, keeping your body safe. For adding that height, there's a few exercises that we're going to get into for this video's workout that I'll show you that'll help get that explosion. But for now, if you're just looking to add a little bit of height, make sure you're getting that arm swing and loading back properly. Now, as far as distance from the box goes, I always recommend getting an arm's length of distance. So you should be able to get that arm swing from the box. If you're too close, especially on a high box, you're going to hit those hands and it won't feel good. Okay? Let's go to this video's workout challenge. Alright, here it is. For this video's workout challenge, you're going to need a timer that you can set for 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, a weight for a deadlift, and something that you can step up onto. The height of the thing you want to step on should be just above knee height. You can use a chair, box if you have it at home, whatever you have available. It's going to comprise of four exercises, a plyo lunge, which you'll be doing on each leg, a squat jump, a deadlift, and the box step ups. You'll be doing four rounds of each exercise. They look like this. For the plyo lunges, Dropping down nice and low into that lunge. The back knee will not touch the ground, it'll get nice and close. You're trying to get that front knee to that front shoulder. As you explode up, the back leg stays down nice and low. Now what you're doing here is developing those fast twitch muscle fibers to really explode off the ground, which is really going to help you drive in and get explode jumping up onto the box. From there, going into a squat jump. Now on these, focus more on range of motion and still getting these up. You're going to squat down nice and low. Put it the same as you're going to use on your box jump, squat down, and as you explode up, you're going to bring your knees towards your armpits, up, and explode. Now when you're doing this, really focus on driving up and using your arms just like you would when you're going on the box. Third exercise, the deadlift. This goes without saying, one of the most beneficial athletic lifts you can do. You can use a kettlebell, barbell, dumbbells, whatever you have available. As always, keeping your form solid, back flat. Squeeze those glutes, stand nice and tall. Now for the step ups, like I said, you want to get something that's roughly about knee height. So you're going to get your foot up on there. And you're going to be going just like you're running, alternating your legs, pumping those arms. Just going up, getting those knees nice and high. 30 seconds of each, you're going to go on your left, and then on your right for the plyo lunges. 30 seconds of squat jumps, 30 seconds of deadlifts, 30 seconds of step ups. That's one round, you're going for four. Enjoy. Hey guys, just a couple quick announcements to go over with you here. First, the gym is going to be closed on Memorial Day this year. That is on May 26th, and we hope that you all enjoy the wonderful holiday weekend. We hope that the weather is great for everyone to enjoy. Next, on June 6th, 7th, and 8th is going to be the next 
RKC kettlebell certification and we have a couple people from the gym that are going to be doing that. We're really looking forward to that. It's always awesome to see people who want to advance their skills and actually get that certification. So good luck to you guys. Now the next technique workshop we're going to be having is on June 21st, 2014, going over swings, squats, and deadlifts, some of the fundamental techniques when it comes to working with kettlebells. Now of course I'm going to recommend that you be there and why. Even if you've been working with kettlebells for a long time, there are always little things that you can do to improve your techniques that's going to make a huge difference in your results and the way that you feel as you're doing those techniques during class. And of course, if you have any members of your family or any friends that haven't been to the gym before, they are always invited to attend those. And even if they've never touched a kettlebell before, it'll be appropriate for everyone. Now, I hope that you guys are all getting in as many workouts as you can every week. If you have any questions or need anything else, make sure to let Kurt know right away.